Yes, uh, this is uh, video number three of Francis's cooking video. And, um, okay, the rice is cooked and all the uh, stuff is in the pot here. I had to add uh, half a cup of boiling water, stir it, and I added another half cup. So basically there's like maybe three and a half cups of water in this um I wouldn't go over four cups, but what I do is uh, the more water you put in here, the more the rice sucks up the water, and it, it turns almost like a rice pasta. It's not like that chewy rice. Okay, and remember I had the peas that I cooked. Okay. Yeah, in here. Okay. So after this stuff, this is cooked. I didn't want the peas to cook anymore, so... All the fires off. I just add the peas back, and you could do this with any other vegetable, okay? And now I just stir the peas in with the rice, and uh, everything's cooked. And I like to cook with a wood spoon. Um, you know, you stir with the wood spoon. At least that's what my. Uh, chef relative told me and um, I've been making rice dishes like this for two years and um, so almost every day I make rice now the only difference is the variation of different vegetables and if, if I was gonna put meat in here I would have cooked the meat whether it's fish uh, chicken or um, grass-fed beef I would have cooked it um, with the veggies, you know, when you saute the veggies, and then and with the uh, and with the tomato paste, you know, kind of like a little that saute together for a while to get all the flavors. Now, everything's mixed, so what I do is I just pour. Usually, I pour about half because uh, you don't want to eat all of this at once because uh, it's 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 just way too much. Sometimes I'll split this in thirds. It's like three meals, okay? So literally, that's what I do. And put the lid back on. Just let it sit on the stove. It's all closed up. I mean, it'll cool down over several hours, after about three or four hours. And then if you don't eat it all, you can add water tomorrow and make a soup out of it. So... This is kind of what it looks like when they're all done. Oh, by the way, I got this mirror here. I want to show you my camera rig. Oh, I'm going to point it the other way. Let's see here. There. There's my video camera, and it's on the end of the uh, hammer. <laughs> Francis is getting hammered today. No alcohol, though. Okay, so... Now I'll lift this up. Sure, I've shown you this before, but see, this is what you end up with. Okay. There we go. I always get this backwards. But see, the, the green peas are in there, the carrots, the onions, the rice. And this is my lunch today. Okay. So, there you go. It's uh, 1240. So basically, I started doing this uh, lunch. <clears throat> started doing this lunch right about 11 o'clock and it's 12:40. so um, anyway there's the stirring spoon and since I'm the only one eating here today if somebody else comes I'll give them a clean bowl but basically so here's the my first, first fork fill. Mmm. Delicious. You can add salt and pepper if you like. Which is what I did, by the way. Before I put the peas in, I kind of stirred it up. It tastes a little bland. I don't like to use too much salt and pepper when it's cooking. Because you can always season it to taste when it's done cooking. Okay. But this is delicious, and it's got, you know, all these, um, it's got my turmeric in here. 
and everything you need for the day. Okay. I mean, I might need some more protein later in the day, but I had a lot of protein Thursday and Wednesday. I went through like a pound of ground beef, so that's like 90 grams of protein. So I had three days worth of protein Wednesday, Thursday, coming up to today. So I, I really don't need to have any uh, animal protein today. So anyway, that's it. Finished product. So this is totally vegan. There's only coconut oil, organic olive oil, a can of tomato paste with nothing in it, just paste, and then um, the rice and the peas, the carrots, the onions, and the and the garlic. So most of this is organic. The only thing that isn't organic is the peas. That's it, really. Because all the spices are organic too. So, anyways, the thing about organic is, you uh, there's less toxins, pesticides, herbicides. That's that's the whole reason to go on organic, folks. You know all these uh, man-made chemicals that are in the foods and the way they grow them. That gets in your body. That's what makes you fat. Okay, and believe me, it's been a struggle. Okay, I'm down to 300 pounds. And I've struggled for years uh, just to get from like 360 down to 300. Two years, okay? And it's a struggle. And um, after my heart failure, I lost 150 pounds. I was like 500. So I went on a special diet and lost weight, low glycemic. And so. Basically, it's been real slow. I'm lucky if I'm losing a pound a week, and it's very hard. But, you know, I'm heading in the right direction. And I figure if I, I just need to lose another 100 pounds, and if I can do that in a year or two, that'll be great. Okay, because it took me uh, almost 60 years to get this big. <laughs> so it's going to take a few to get down to where I ought to be. But... You know, if I stop drinking beer and, and eating a lot of things that are putting these toxins back in my body, like I like chips and peanuts and so. This is so good. So, generally I eat a couple vegan days a week. And I try to limit my intake of animal protein. Because what you're eating, when you eat animal protein, you're eating what the animal ate. Because that's what you're eating. You're eating the animal. So. <clears throat> um. Okay, that's all. I'm going to call this a video. Thank you for watching. And I hope uh, some of my techniques of... Uh, Peeling, cutting, chopping vegetables, and showing you how to do this at home. And I'll tell you, it's all the cookware here. This cookware really helps you make nutritious food because, uh, you know, it seals the nutrition in, and you cook it on low temperature. And, you know, you, yes, you didn't see a lot of steam coming off the food and everything. That's because... You can cook it under 200 degrees. Um, it just takes a little longer, but it seals in the vitamins and nutrition. And, you know, the higher temperature you cook, that's just more food value. You're just wasted. So, anyways, I could eat like this pot, and that's like probably uh, all I'll eat today. You know, and I'll be satisfied. I won't be hungry. So, anyway, love you all. Have a good day.